And we're buying iguanas, which are doing, like, nothing, I think. Yeah, I have a feeling iguanas aren't going to do anything in this pack. People aren't going to be running summoning builds. Even though I kind of was with some weird, like, honey stuff, I think. I think we're not going to still see good value there. No, he's crying over spilt milk. <laughs> Alright, let's take all these, then. That's an okay start. I swear, I forgot it was on buy and I thought I had to level it up to get the food. It was only when I bought the second one I saw it get replaced and I was like, ah. I was not looking in the right place. Brain not working. I'm gonna pill this. I didn't like any of those three, really. Alright, that's not too bad. I'm gonna leave the toucan. Probably. Yeah, I'd rather not take that. I don't want this either. I'm not gonna take a goldfish. Just keep rolling. Alright, this isn't too bad. It's money at least. We can't actually scale it, which is kind of sad. Did I hear about chocolate milk? I did! The thing is, when they announced that there was like a secret interaction, everyone was suddenly being like, oh, the secret interaction is when you like hover a pill over something, it shivers. So I was like, oh. Because I spent ages trying to find stuff myself, and I wasn't convinced it was that, but then I saw a load of people saying that it was that. And then, yeah, come a few days later, people were like, oh yeah, the actual interaction was... Uh, yeah, giving like... What? Giving chocolate to a milk? What? Giving chocolate to a cow gives it, like, chocolate milk. It's all weird. I actually like the interaction, but I understand why it... I mean, I don't know how the interaction works. I don't know whether it's, um... I don't know. Whether it's, like, on level up it'll give you that. It's, it's kind of weird. Anyway, we will continue. I'm gonna buy another swan. And... let's just take this. <laughs> I'm greedy. We're probably going to have to keep the camel, and I like having swans, but they don't do anything past giving me money. A. No, it's not an A. He wins. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't need the cockroach, but I'm going to keep it for a little while at least. Probably no ox. We could like, maybe work behind the camel, but I'm keep going to keep the iguana for a bit. Alright, I think no cockroach. We do this. And we can level up this one next turn. Maybe level this up fairly soon. This isn't that bad. Defeated by daddy. I know, I saw. Never want to lose to a spooky name. Do you need a squirrel for chocolate milk? I don't think so. I don't really understand the implication there. I'd rather combine next turn, by the way, which is why I'm holding off here. Uh, we're probably going to, like, lose again, because we've been losing all these fights. Maybe I shouldn't hold off. <laughs> oh, god. Eel's, eel's not even good. I don't want to scale an eel. I'll take that and just throw it to the back. Probably have to take both of these, too. And, yeah. I mean, this is all fine. I could maybe try and scale a badger and then, I don't know, let it kill one of these two. Depending on how much it's scaled by, but, yeah. Okay, not a loss. I'll take it. Bro, interesting. No. <laughs> we actually haven't seen that many sniper builds yet, but we're also very early, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, Badger is the first thing I get rid of, I think. And then I'm actually going to push to level the camel. I don't know if I'm going to keep it forever, but... The level up is fairly interesting. You know what? Let's take the moose. Do I care about freezing a scorpion just for higher stuff? I don't think so. I'm not going to freeze tier 4s. I'd rather find crows so I can level this as soon as possible. And I don't think it's worth doing that, so I will be leaving that at the front. But I am hoping that I run into other woodpeckers. Uh, yeah, that's very scary. Oh, oh, perfect trace. Oh, and Kalu, hello. I didn't know you were here. Alright, so I'll be taking this. I'm probably going to scale the camel. I don't know where else I can put it, honestly. Uh, okay, we found that. I should probably freeze threes. I can maybe buy some food if things work out. So I'm free. Come on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, next turn, I sell something. I'm going to try and level up the moose. I would very much like that. And yeah, having all the stats on this makes the most sense. I'd rather keep this one because it makes me... If we're surviving, then it makes more sense because I can then roll a ton more, but... Yeah, I, I think I have to do that to live. 
And see you later, Cyber, and thanks for <laughs> stopping by. Uh, yes, we do this. Goodbye, Iguana. Now this one shall be the thing that's getting buffed. Let's do this now. I will be taking that, I think. Maybe I can use the, use the freeze. Nah, let's buy it now. I'm gonna buy this. I'm going to roll. And we got threes again. That's fine. I think... We've only got two rolls. I doubt we're gonna get better than three. It's a fairly big risk. I think we do take lemon when we can afford it, though. Alright, so then... I'm actually going to keep the moles. Hold on, what am I trying to buff? Is it these two? Because then if I'm using the alpaca for, like, leveling up another moose, then I need to sell the woodpecker. Unless I am leveling the alpaca. Alright, I love the alpaca. I think this one is the thing that we might get rid of. This one and maybe the woodpecker. I'm actually going to leave these because I'd rather find more mooses. If we can find more mooses, then I don't need to buy stats. Hey. Good team, good team. Alpaca frog actually sounds cool. That does sound kind of cool, you're right. I'm just going to freeze these. I'd like to find another one, but we also need the scaling, otherwise we are probably going to die. We can do better than threes. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Alright, then unfreeze everything again. Because next time we can find tier sixes and maybe get to level up on here, and then I can just buy moose and they'll be bigger. Yeah, just send it again. You start work today for the first time since 2019. I hope you have a good day. First day, like, back at work. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is just too nice. You know, using a camel in the weekly shocker. This is my first camel! Leave me alone. I haven't done anything, I swear. Is this where I just... freeze everything? <laughs> I can't tell! I want to find moose! I can, like, buy two things, they'll instantly be level 2, so, like, a snake over the swan or something would be great. The poodle, even, because that's, like, scaling... Not everything, it wouldn't scale the woodpecker, but... I'm gonna be greedy, I'm gonna look for moose. I want to find moose. Leopard's actually pretty good, because we can scale that, and that'd be amazing. Alright, never mind. I'm gonna do this, I'll freeze. These three? I'm gonna trust that I can get some, like, higher than tier 3, though. Maybe not. Okay, <laughs> I'm not risking the last one. Uh, let's see, if I were to sell, I could sell this. I don't think... I think we get level 1 milk if I buy this. Because it'll level, it'll get it to level 2, but I don't think we actually benefit. So I'm going to roll once here, but then I think I just unfreeze everything. Am I just going to do... No, no, I still have to do this. Yeah, keep doing that. Yo, your brand. Forcing us to decide between all the best mods. Wait, what's happening? I'm glad we're not dying. I feel like that melon might have done something. Sadly, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I'm keeping the chocolate frozen. I want to find something I actually want to buy. And it's none of this. It's another moose. Perfect. Alright. We're doing moose scaling. Oh, we could do cat scaling as well. But I don't want to. You know what? No chocolate. We don't need to. We can just, like, buy moose. Buy moose and scale with moose. Alright, so we'll now start freezing, though, because there's not that many rolls left. Come on. Yes! <laughs> uh, wait, so do I unfreeze everything? I'm gonna keep the leopard. I think next turn I can... Oh, I don't know. This needs to get all the stats, or I'd rather it do that. I may try and pivot off the camel. <laughs> so weird. Uh, oh no, we're fine. Yeah. Vikino got to enjoy some further maths. You. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hope you have fun. Or study hard, I guess. Your uni work schedule is so busy that you're not always at streams. Oh, don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, can I do this? I really want to do that. I kind of don't want to combine my camels. Uh, moose. Mooses? Meese? But I may have to. 
I feel like that saves us more than <laughs> the other thing. All right, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it yet. I'm actually selling the camel. If it kills the run, it kills the run. We're already at the, the Believer payout. I need to see this go somewhere. We'll freeze these, though. Like, do I buy more of these? We still have another trigger. I want to roll until I find another thing. No, come on. I know it's a tier 5, but... <laughs> it's a lot of these. Continue rolling. We don't need any of this. We can do better than 3. Okay. Honestly, 4 is probably the best we're going to get as well. Like, I can't... Can't trust that it won't just dip afterwards. Now, I'm getting one big moose and fairly big leopards. This is fine. Well, maybe I should be buying crows. Because if I buy a crow, it's already level 2, and I forgot they changed crows, so it's like... I think crows are good now. <laughs> it's, it's not as bad as they were when you, like, level them up, and then suddenly you have, um... Loads of expensive chocolate. Oh, never mind. Ah, but I can't do this. Alright. I'm gonna combine. I'm gonna lose the tier 6. That's fine. I don't really care. But I will be buying another moose. <laughs> I'll freeze this tier 6. I'm actually gonna leave the tier 5 for now. So I can see. Oh. I want it so badly. Um. <laughs> what do they do to crows? I think they changed how it interacts when it levels up. So yeah, now when it when you level up a crow and then sell it, it gives you one chocolate that gives you more experience instead of replacing the shop with more chocolate. So it, it's kind of like twice the value because before you'd have to buy like each individual chocolate and that is very expensive. More meese. It actually might be the idea because I can do this. This isn't scaling that fast, but I could like scale a ton with these. Uh, Yeah, I can't even buy the melon this turn if I wanted to. So I'm going to skip the tier six, just buy this raw. And then we can have this. I will freeze the melon because I would like it. No! <laughs> I hate you, pill bug. Whatever. So we can get rid of this. This is scaling. They're all scaling two behind except for this one, which is scaling three behind. So this, this order does work. Although if I do this, then this, hit, this gets hit with everything. But... Hmm... I'll do that for now. It's, it's going to hit the cap. I know we're going to run into a problem here because it's going to hit the cap very quickly. Not on this turn, but... <laughs> it would happen if we had like five or higher in the shop. Oh, that's that's very bad. Okay. We really needed to not see that. So I'm very much hoping that we can survive the turn. All right, so I'll do this. I'm going to freeze it. I'm not going to freeze a four. We can get better. Need better equipment too. Oh, lovely. Okay. Uh, do I get rid of the alpaca and play like? I don't even know what I play here. I'd rather take another moose. <laughs> They're funny. All right, let's keep rolling. I need melon. No melon. Okay. I have to keep this. If if I unfreeze the shop, then we just lose. I think. Like I need max max scaling. So anyway, at the moment, this is scaling all three of these, this is scaling those two, that's scaling these two. They're all getting plus six. This one is getting plus six, plus six. That one's getting plus 12, 12. That one's getting plus 18, 18. And that one's getting plus six, six. <laughs> that's a lot of stats. All right. Please, let it be enough. It might be. Uh, It is, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to hold out. I'm going to keep everything frozen. I'm not going to risk rolling. I need to find equipment. Nice. One more. I could buy a pizza or a croissant, but I don't think they're going to make the difference. We already have a lot of stats. What I need to do is hope that I can survive the turn and then find more melon. I think that is it. All right. So again, this thing is basically going to cap out. I could swap these two so this gets more stats. But I don't think these are in the wrong positions. I'm pretty happy where they are. This thing is going to basically be capped out. It's going to be a 50 attack at least. Oh, there's a hydrate. Thank you. Is Moose getting nerfed? I think it is, yeah. I actually can't remember what the what it is on the test server. I know they completely changed this ability, and then they changed it back to roughly what it was, but I don't think it's exactly the same. Anyway, let's send it. Yeah. <laughs> Big Moose team. 
I would have loved to have found another one, but we also don't have room for it. Uh, we're okay. Okay. Still working. Unfree shop and random friend. The thing is, this thing is a 50-50. I, I don't want to get rid of it. I maybe could have done it earlier, but I wanted to keep my good scaling. I'm going to take this in case it's sniper builds, I guess. And yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it frozen. Give me another melon or lemon for this. Shame. All right, whatever. Fine. I'll buy another one of these. It's the last turn. Like... The only reason I buy this over the apple is because this is also a 1 1, and you know, maybe you get it to level 3 and get some benefit later. Obviously, it's not going to happen because we're 1 HP in the ninth turn, but yeah. I'm going to buy this because this is, in all odds, the final turn. Uh, that's already 50 50, so there's no reason to give that any more buffs, so I can move this a little bit forward. Sadly, I can't really do about much about these. Yeah, a lot of wasted stats, but that's okay. <laughs> we, we actually wasted like almost 20 20 on this thing. Uh, a little bit awkward race, but we're fine. Alright, look, we did it! We had a cool moose scaling build! First time I've used Alpaca in a while, too. It was a nice run. Big fan. Alright, <laughs> thanks for watching! Woo! Auto freezing the shop with a moose seems balanced. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's what it does. It now auto unfreezes the shop at the end of your turn. And I, I'm actually for that. I think that does, like, encourage more fun gameplay. Because I kind of wish, like... I feel like it's better to not freeze the shop. But it's not fun. It's more interesting if you are also rolling every turn and trying to, like, rebuild back up to <laughs> all tier 6s. Pet idea can't get stats. That is basically the cockroach. And it is terrible. No one likes the cockroach. All right, let's roll it. Uh, I don't want to buy frogs. But it is probably better than an iguana. <laughs> okay. It will be the feeble machines. The feeble dumplings. Level 3 alpaca would be stylish. It would have, but it's actually not that much of an improvement. I feel like level 2 alpaca is, like, the dream spot. Nah, we can leave that. It's just too good. Being able to instant, like, instantly level something up, even if you're just like buying and selling it, it just it gives you back all your money. It has limited triggers, but like, it's very good. Does the moose unfreeze food? No, it doesn't. It has. Oh, actually, I don't know. I was gonna say like it hasn't even had that update here yet, but <laughs> I don't know if it unfreezes food. Hey, you double dolphin. I'll take that. It's kind of tempted if I sell this as well, but I'm gonna pill that soon. Right, what else are we doing here? None of this. Don't care for it. We are going to easily win this fight, I think. Like, <laughs> two, three damage shots at the start are going to be great. Although, they were kind of wasted on... Yeah, they got wasted on double ants, but that's okay. Swan, not too bad. Uh, I'm going to fill this first. I'm really hoping it hits one of those. This isn't too bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm keeping these separate. Hmm. Another swan. Not bad, not bad. I do feel like this probably isn't the pack to be buying swans in, though. Like, the thing that makes me like swans is when you can just buy a, uh, a meat stick for it immediately. That usually makes a huge difference, but if you can't give it that, then it is kind of a dead unit on the team. Oh my god, we already have it level up. <laughs> and it looks... This is actually high damage, and it fits with a sniper build. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the kangaroos. I don't think we're doing a kangaroo build. I think we are very much... This is triggering twice, right? Yeah. We're very much doing one of these. No, we don't need more of those. Could have done beetle stats onto the swan. I, I noticed that after I had... um, I was like looking at the food and I was like, oh yeah, I could have done something there. But I don't know if I wanted to anyway. Like, I don't really want to invest in this. It's probably the next thing I sell. Now, there actually aren't many good snipers at tier 6, like, or tier 5, I mean. Like, there is this. I don't like the swordfish. There's not really anything good at tier 4 either, but we can maybe get scaling. I don't know, another links. I think I'd rather do it this turn anyway. I need to see what we can find. Mole, those are stats. I will take it. Actually, I should have sold the frog onto one of these, shouldn't I? 
I think that would have been slightly better. I'm going to freeze that. Let's look for a, uh, a woodpecker. Oh my god, why are there so many swans? You know what? I'm going to keep them for a bit. <laughs> I'll try and keep these swans. Extra money is usually pretty good. I was going to say, wow, look at the value we get out of the woodpecker. But then these guys, like, took over first. Alright. I'm buying them. Let's look for some level ups. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to buy it. That's fine, too. I have no idea how I'm going to get value out of this frog. I don't think I am, because I actually like everything on my team other than the frog. But <laughs> who knows? Maybe I will get a super huge swan, and I'll uh, swap it out towards the end of the game. Right after Kino got carried by a swan in the last moose win. It's because I like swans. I'm saying it might not be, like, an ideal pet. I do think it's, like, underrated, though, because swans used to be considered really OP, and I think that was justified. And then they took away two attack, and suddenly no one liked them anymore, but getting extra, like, an extra three gold every turn. That is literally a 30% increase in, like, the stuff you can do every turn. Like, that is, that's huge. Like, barely anything else, like, scales like that. Okay, anyway, Poodle, we have two level 3s, but it is decent scaling. I think it is time to get rid of this, because I can buy sell the Crow, buy the Poodle, and then I can chocolate this next turn. Probably not now. So where do I want stats to go? The Woodpecker is the worst sniper on the team, so I'd rather not give that the stats. The Lynx is probably one of the best, so I'm going to stick it like this. Yeah, buy sell, buy Poodle, these chocolates. Uh, no, none of this. Alright, another woodpecker. I'm actually not going to go hard on that level up, I think. I don't know what I'm doing with this build yet, but I'd rather I'd rather not push that too much. You loved OG Duck. OG Duck was very good. Oh no. No, we needed honey or something. I don't know, actually, what was OG Duck's ability? Because now I can't even remember properly. I just feel like I don't know, I know it was very good. And I, like, always loved having them, but... I don't even know if it's not in the packs. I can't even check. Double chocolate is very interesting. I'm wondering whether I sell the woodpecker and, like, buy a monkey. Then we can have a ton of scaling. It wouldn't be, like, moose scaling, though. But I think it'd be more interesting. You know what? Let's go for monkey scaling. I'd rather that. And I'm going to scale my monkey, too. <laughs> I'm going to let my monkey scale itself. I'm really hoping I can find more. No, no dolphin level up. No moose. We're doing monkey scaling. Alright. Poodle. The poodle is better than the monkey. I can't. Can I even, like, sell this this turn? Full monkey? I'd like to. I'm trying to decide if I can sell the lynx right now. Because I think we need the swan to get loads of stats. We could maybe sell the poodle, because... You know, we're, we're getting sat down. This is like plus 4-4 four, four at the moment, but I'm going to get rid of both of these at some point. It's one too, but it'd take longer. Let's get rid of the Poodle. I'd rather lock in earlier and have all the stats here instead of them more spread out across things I don't really want. Alright. Big monkey, go! It's still pretty small. Oh, no. Okay. Not losing HP. We still have a buffer. I will continue to roll... Oh, hello, Poodles. <laughs> no, none of this. I'm also not buying and selling a crow. Until I find another monkey or something, I don't think I can do that. Uh, lemon is pretty good, but... Yeah, we'll just take lemon. I'd rather melon, but we'll be scaling it very quickly. Another monkey. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just doing it. Alright. Now I will buy a crow if I see another one. Come on, go! Scale! Uh, that one does scare me. Yeah, we don't beat this. Oh. That's why, like, me uh, Melon actually would have done worse for us there, but that pet just scares me. Okay, yep, we have this. Don't mind it. Uh, T-Rex. I could buy it and scale this turn, actually. That's not too bad. I'll do it for a turn. That's pretty good. And then, yeah, we just end, right? That's three gold. Three gold. Come on, let it live. Just let it live. Oh, God, what are these? 
These aren't good. These are not the teams you wanted to see. Oh, that was uh, six trophies, yeah. So we got the Believer payout at least. Sorry, just had to step away urgently and it may happen again. I don't know if you want to take over predictions so you won't get confused. Uh, sure, I will do that then. Hold on, are we... Where's the prediction at the moment? Choose outcome. Yes, we got six trophies. And then I will start the next one. All right. Oh, I was going to say, I thought we were like 10 minutes away from the few lobbies, but we're actually only 15 minutes into the stream. Thought it'd be in longer for some reason. All right, beetle, beetle, beetle. And shy warriors, sure. Shy pieces. Shy pieces. But yeah, hope it's nothing serious, mate. More of this. I'm probably taking a pill bug because it does give decent stats, and I imagine I'm going to be keeping this for a while. I'm actually just going to buy one of these. I know I'm buffing something I don't care about, but <laughs> I, I really don't care about any of these, and I feel like if I roll and find anything other than beetles, then it's just a waste, so I'll take the extra 1-1 one, one you get from this. And it got insta-killed. Terrible. Alright, love these. Kangaroo. That's not bad either. I'm almost tempted to like, you know, freeze, roll, and then buy an apple for this to give this some extra HP. That might not be too bad. What sort of food could I get? I probably would rather the apple. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Okay. <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted to see. I'm going to keep this frozen, I think. Instead of, you know, double selling to buy this turn. But I love it. I'm going to keep going. We're buying more for this. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Oh yes, beetle appreciation. Someday I really want to do an actual beetle run, where I want to use a beetle to like super scale a... I don't know, I feel like a scorpion could be good. I think it's not that beneficial for kangaroo. If I had that peacock, then <laughs> it would have been better, but... Let's roll once more, maybe. And we get one more roll after this, and I'm not buying that. One more roll, one more roll. Fine. Whatever it takes. There we go. Big kangaroo. I just have to pray that it can actually get some decent... <laughs> decent stats off this. If this somehow insta-dies and the bee disappears, then... Yeah. I don't know. 715 web that was is pretty good. With crab synergy? You're right. It actually is kind of cool with crab. Hmm. Oh, do I keep the beetle? I'm going to keep the beetle. I'll freeze that. Freeze that. Keep rolling. We have the beetle upgrade. Excellent. Uh, We don't need any of this, though. <laughs> have a kangaroo chain, too. I'm really hoping we don't go against um dolphins. That would cause some pretty big issues here, I think. Quabby wabby. No. No quabby wabby. Scale some more, why not? Make it super healthy. Uh, I would like to get this level up next turn, because there's a lot of cool tier 5s. It's cooler than tier 4s anyway, so I'll do this. I'm going to keep that frozen. And let's scale attack on one of these, so when I eventually combine them, I can get one thing that's even bigger. At the moment, it's only plus one attack, so it would have been like the same as just using the, the lolly on it if I combine next turn. Which I may do, but this is it's more insurance. Monkey, excellent. Uh, what do I buff? <laughs> Unless I do let the monkey buff itself again. I'm not against it. I like self-buffing monkeys. We have a lot of HP. Show me crows. Do this for now. Buy the crow. I'm buffing the monkey. I'm not keeping the beetle. We want, we want a monkey team. Big beetle though. I know, and I know it helps this whole chain out, but. I feel like this can survive by itself. I want a big monkey. I don't want to have to invest in this beetle anymore. The monkey stays on the team. Eventually, the monkey will be bigger than the beetle, and then it's not an issue anymore. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine. We want a big monkey. Exactly. Everyone wants to see the big monkey. And look at this. We already have a level 2 monkey. 
<laughs> before it's even out. Show me another monkey. It's a moose. Uh, I mean, I'm taking it over the rest of this. Sadly, I won't be monkey buffing a moose. I'll be monkey buffing my monkey and giving this plus one plus one. Which is pretty bad, but maybe I do a moose and monkey run. The rest of this I may get rid of, which is sad, but... <laughs> maybe. No, a scorpion! Wow. I have been scammed. And we actually would have drawn if we had, like, two more attack on the kangaroo there. Alright, let's roll a bit, find something worth buying. Uh... I need to make room. I want to see my tier 6. Like, if we find an alpaca, or maybe even a cat, then we have, like, even more scaling, but... I don't know, like, what would I put chocolate on? I don't really want to do a moose build. We could do, like, moose and... What did I do? Jesus. Oh, my brain! Alright, we're doing cat scaling then. <laughs> Help me. Do they buff penguins, or do you... Wait... Do I have a ship modifier? I have no idea what that means. No, penguins are still pretty bad, I think. Uh, we're fine. Shop? Can't hit the O today. What do you mean a shop modifier, though? Yeah, okay. I'm going to keep the monkey properly, but I'm going to go for a food build if I can. Uh, emphasis on if I can. <laughs> I could find some of the mouse for like some slight stuff. None of this, please. Game, you know what I want. I'll buy. No, look, I'm buying a cat food. That will be that turn. I'll continue buffing my monkey. Monkey stays. I'm sad we haven't found more. Cans? I don't think I had bought any though, right? Like, I bought one just then, but I thought. I thought that was the first one. Summons. People are actually running summons. Alright, cow. Excellent. Now I will buff my cat a bit. Please, monkey. Monkey. No beetle. Monkey. Hmm. I can't sell anything to make this work, and I don't really want to take an alpaca. I'm not going to freeze a pair, I think. Come on. Okay. I like that. I think. It's, it's still kind of awkward because I have to put it on, like, a cow. Unless I put it on the other monkey and we actually are having, like, a monkey in food build. Which is awkward, but I'm not completely against it. Also, that should definitely not be where it is. A lord and savior cow. Yeah. Nah, that's... that's uh, no, we're okay. Not too bad. What's going to be the viewer lobby codes I can play but can't watch? That, it's going to be like an hour. I don't even know what we're doing yet. I'm going to be greedy. I'm putting on... No, we're, we're keeping the we're keeping the monkeys. If I can level that, then that still works. <laughs> Where are the food synergy things? Oh, look. I'm just going to buy this. I think monkey doesn't need to be at the front anymore. I'll let this get some stats. I'm actually going to freeze a taco. I don't know what I'm going to do about the crows. I think I leave it. And, uh, yes, I wanted that behind there. Should have looked at that earlier. Hey, I think we win against this. Yeah, we definitely do. Excellent. Big monkeys carries. Oh, there's more monkeys, though. <laughs> Never mind, we're pivoting back. More monkeys. Level. Not a monkey. Obviously, it benefits greatly, but no. <laughs> No kangaroos. We're done with kangaroos. Uh, let's start scaling up another monkey, then. I'm not against that. We already have one big one. Let's make another one. Food build and viewer lobbies. I would need to make a pack, but we could do that, yeah. Oh, God. Stop. Stop with the builds that steal my equipment. I need it. Why do you have, like, one shield and it always gets me killed? Like, we'd be way better off if I just had no equipment. Okay. <laughs> Eight trophies, then. That is a believer game, at least. Alright, hold on. Let me get this next one set up. Monkey together strong. We can do it. I want to have one of those today. It's doable. I can feel it. We've had two good runs for it. Like, decent setups. The problem is, you need to get past, like, a, a hump. 
And both times we were like at the hump and we died to a, you know. I kind of want to call this a hard counter because <laughs> I feel like that doesn't win against a lot of other things. All right, let's uh, just get all the stats. I guess I give this one the rest of them, but yeah. I want a big beetle. Raccoon must be in the running for one of the earliest units with the best scaling ability power. Yeah, it definitely is. Like, it, it usually sucks in the early game, but late game, it can be great. The problem is, I didn't think people would be running it, because there's there's so many sniper builds out here. Okapi, I'll take an Okapi. Probably, it, it kind of synergizes with a swan, actually. Let me do this. Why? I, I didn't see the sparkles in time. No raccoon. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it like that. Oh, if he is a trap, don't do it. I mean, it's better than the other stuff. It's better than a tier 2, so I'm definitely going to take it. Did we ever make a cats vs dogs lobby? No, we haven't yet. I'm going to do this. I could like, give this some food for an extra big swan, but it's... It's too much work, and I don't actually care about giving this any weird buffs. So yeah, I don't want any of that. Still no. I would like to find a swan, a pill bug. That might be it. I don't mind being greedy. <laughs> oh, fine. One more roll. Hey, okay. We can buy next turn. Only wasted one Occupy thing. Occupy trigger. One roll without getting any stats. But that's not too bad. Someone explain what? Oh, I didn't see. I don't know. I also can't see the message. All right, crow. I'm not using that on a pill bug. I won't be buying the crow. I don't. I don't think I use it here though. Like we maybe try and level this up. Dolphin's pretty cool. Can we get rid of the? No, I think I maybe get rid of the Ocopy. I can't tell. I don't know whether I want to be, like, hard rolling at this stage. Like, it'd be good if I get a second Okapi, or if I do actually level it up, but I don't want to have to level it like this. Huh. Nah, you know what? I'm not going to be buying food, so I may just sell that and keep this frozen here until I know what I want to use it on. <laughs> no more beetles. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll take a snipe. It's only two extra damage, but... There are worse things. Spamming. Ah. Okay. I still don't know whether I want to use this. <laughs> I have no idea what to put it on. Like, maybe the dolphin. Out of everything on this team, I think, like, leveling up the swan makes the most sense, but we're also low on HP and it doesn't help us in fights. So let's get rid of that. I'm going to pray that I can find. That's nice. I'm actually going to do it now because I do feel like we need the stats. And this is fine too. And I actually think I sell the Ock for it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not unhappy with that. And let's... Let's let these two have the stats. I feel like I'm most likely to keep those two. I've already invested, but I don't want to keep a sniper build. I'd like to hard pivot to one of the the giant scaly builds instead, if I can afford to. Alright, skunk. Nah. Nah, I don't know what we're going for, though. There's not really much. There isn't really the scaling that I like here. That's all on the next tier. Uh, is there anything worth taking, though? We can probably get rid of the pill bug, and that doesn't hurt too much. Let's go for a level up. I need dolphins or lynxes. Those are decent stats. I think I'll take those. Crows. Any of it. Crows! No. Please. <laughs> I'm going to freeze one of these. I'm actually going to freeze that too. Just for a couple of... Okay, never mind. We have this. I can unfreeze this again and roll again. We have the dolphin. Excellent. Uh, I'm actually going to move this to the back. That can soak up hits better than these can. And they have higher attacks. So. More top heavy. Move them further forward. Not unhappy with it. Managed to get a penguin win today. 
It's crazy a penguin win in 2022. Penguins aren't terrible. They're just one of the weirder scalers because they don't, they don't like get better into the late game. Not that any of them usually do, but like, you know, it's, it's kind of like how you don't want to have a giraffe on your team past like the mid game. Anyway, I'm actually more interested in seeing a tier five than I am a tier six. Unless I found an alpaca or a cat, maybe. Actually, any of those three could be pretty interesting. Never mind. I'll wait. I'll wait. We'll get that next turn. I'm going to buff this because I really do want to keep that. Then <laughs> I love this. <sighs> do I? No, I'm not. I'm going to be greedy. I'll combine next turn. Right. Not really a reason having that so far forward either. Gonna send it like this. There's a pretty good chance we're going to die. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. It was close, but yeah, doubt again. Greedy Kino. It's because I want fun builds, and you can't have a fun build if you play it safe the whole way through. All right. Prediction doubter. Oops. There we go. There's the next one. A packer is underrated for sure. I don't think it's underrated. It's just hard to use sometimes. Like, I feel like I never, I'm never, i never in a position where I can just buy an alpaca and use it to get random level ups on the other things I need. Because you need like two open slots for that to happen. Which is rare. It's rare because it doesn't actually help in combat at all. I'm going to leave the build bug. All right, double ant, sure. Don't mind it, don't mind it. You just got your penguin achievement. It wasn't easy because it hardly scales. Sure, but it is like, it does scale. I feel like it was one of the... Actually, no, I got it fairly early, so I actually don't know, but I feel like it's not that bad, because it does scale. You know, it has a it has a useful ability compared to all the other ones that, like... Some things are just actively bad to have in your team. <laughs> Almost, anyway. Roll, okay, great. It's got a thing. Woodpecker, love it. Uh, I'm actually going to freeze a pill, because I think if we find another ant, which we did, <laughs> I'll be using that. I will also be trying to get that to land on either the swan or the woodpecker. So I may sell the Marmoset. I don't want to sell that yet, but if it lands on the Cockroach, that really sucks. I don't know, it's awkward. Penguin scale is way better than Giraffe, question mark. Yes, it does. I don't really get the point. It scales better than Giraffe, but it doesn't scale, like, amazingly. I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's annoying to target, and, uh... Yeah. The condition to have to have two... Level 2s is... It's just awkward, really. Anyway, I'm going to do this this turn. I don't mind finding a tier 3. What I do want to do is... Wait. Orcopy. I know there's, like, synergy here. Kind of. <laughs> it's, it's like a temporary synergy, but there is kind of synergy. Yeah, I'm going to do that then. By that, now I'm going to pill this. So we're going to be running, like, a little bit weaker this turn, but... Ah, uh, sure. Alright, more swans or cockroaches. We've found a cockroach. Excellent. Then I can move that further forward. Maybe like this. Shoe Bill is the true best scaler. Is it though? I think that's the Komodo. Komodo for life. Alright, definitely doing this. What do you have for me? A lynx? Not bad. I'll take it. I'm going to buy one of those. I think I leave the other one. Nah, we keep going. I don't need any of this stuff. Let's see. I'm going to send like this then. Have I played Omega Strikers? No. And I haven't... I've seen like... <laughs> like stills of the game. Like on Twitch or something. I've seen like the... The freeze frame. So I know roughly what the like arena looks like. But... No, I've never actually played it or watched it myself. Uh, I really want to get Woodpecker level ups. I might get rid of the Swan. Because we're not invested in it at all. I don't really want to buy a cucumber. I really want to get levels on the things we have. Not you. Anything but the cockroach. Sure. <laughs> it's a potential level. How many more things too? I'll just roll away the rest of the turn then. Uh, wait. We can find tier fours next turn. I'm going to leave this. We can also remove that if we need to. I could just like sell this this turn. <laughs> have that, but that's definitely not an improvement. Right. Sure. You rarely use T-Rex just because it's so late game. 
Yeah, but I do feel like it's one of the... It is a solid late game scaler. You can't always get good use out of it, but yeah. Who's Northern Line? You don't know Northern Line? He's a big streamer guy. Been watching him for like 10 years. He's literally like the only guy I've watched that long, I think. It's him and the Game Grumps, but I don't watch them as often. Looking at this, I'm thinking like that could be a maybe. There aren't a lot of like long term things at this tier, I think. Like Skunk could be good, but I don't really care. Deer is good, but I don't really care. Obviously, this can be amazing if you scale it, but <laughs> I don't want to do that. Let's roll a bit. I can't trust the scorpion. It's fine, whatever. I regret. I will take these. I'll take that. I'll take this. And I'm going to leave a mole. I don't think we buy one of those here. Okay, level up is great. I might go for this skunk too. Yeah, why not? You never watch NL stream, but Kino streams are so much fun to watch. I do have NL on YouTube though. I haven't been watching as often recently, to be honest. But like the golden the golden years of the NLSS were just amazing. I love like all of the multiplayer stuff and a lot of the guys in that sort of group still do. Lots of stuff like Project Winter and It's been a while since I've seen Jackbox or something, but yeah, I love the multiplayer stuff. That's what I really like. NL is the guy that makes makes or breaks indie games on Twitch pretty much. Actually true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the one that made a uh, sap like explode. Or rather, he like made it explode to the point where Ludwig picked it up and then it exploded, maybe? I don't know. I don't know the details, but <laughs> it feels like it's around there. Uh, I'm actually going to roll for the rest of the turn, because we get a ton of stats on this, and then we can still like buy this next turn. Not really looking for anything other than a skunk, but yeah, I'll go for a tier 6. We don't need that many of those. I'm going to leave that there. NL forced Ludwig to play Sap and he got instantly addicted. I mean, sounds relatable. Not that getting forced to play by NL, but <laughs> just playing and getting addicted. Monkey. What else? Monkey Leopard. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like Monkey Leopard. Do we have anything else? No fox. Uh, lemon is something, but I'm going to wait until Melon, if I can hold out that long anyway. Like lemon on that could be something, but I don't really care. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Maybe this was a mistake. Uh, so this will su no, that won't survive because it's gonna do it twice. Leopard will die if I do that. All right, hold on. I may get rid of that next turn. Well, I don't know. I <laughs> I want to do monkey leopard, but I can't do that. Woodpecker makes this like very awkward. And that was the dad of variety games. I think that's fair. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this. Alright. Let's make this chunky. I'd love to level it, but... Uh, this does work as well. I'll take that. We can still roll and get a load of stats on this. It has three triggers left. I may just roll all that away. Never mind. <laughs> We're already at six trophies. Be greedy. Be greedy. I'm going to do this. Uh, I could definitely rearrange a bit, though. And again, the only re reason why I'm going for the monkey over the poodle is because it's, it's directional. I can choose where the stats go. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Alright, six trophies. Believe a game again, at least. I don't know. I just so badly want, like, a monkey game. <laughs> 